Derek, how do you reflect on that this evening? Uh, I think that is extremely harsh on us the the result. Um, didn't want to just be a wee plucky Kilmarnock coming here and bags of effort and plats in the back. You know, we came here with a structure and a game plan that we felt that would uh, frustrate and um, I know it wasn't it wasn't just drawing the line in the sand. I think we had the best chance in the first half with Brad and we had some good moments and got up the pitch well. You know, obviously as we spoke at half time about this tie was now is now three forty five minutes left and two of those are at rugby park. So the odds that were so stacked against us at the start, all of a sudden start to come towards us. And we spoke long and hard about um, we didn't need it to be dramatic, we just needed to be steady, we needed to be diligent, we needed to be responsible. And I thought, although they started the second half a bit, I think, I think they started the second half better, I think they moved the ball a wee bit quicker. Um, but I actually thought we were OK uh, in the game and there was no drama. It was absolutely fine, obviously. Had to make a couple of changes, one or two that we didn't ordinarily want to make, but because of issues we make, and we looked a wee bit young at times that last part of the game. But the biggest, the biggest part in the game was the refereeing decision against you, Davy. And you know, it's like I don't think. See if he gives it at the time, and he thinks, "Oh, you know, she's got there ahead of him, and he touches the ball, and David careers into him, and he thinks it's a penalty." But it's no clear and obvious error that I find it so disappointing and angry at the fact that he was asked to go over and look at that, but. Such is life, um, they got the break, um, you know, and it, it maybe took something like that to get the game going their way. I think for five minutes after that, because I think the way we're all feeling in the sideline, we're all gutted, we're all feeling a bit crestfallen by that. But the players have still got to go and try and, and stick and concentrate to the job. I think five minutes after their first goal was their best period and we kind of hung in a wee bit and I thought we just came through that. Um, and we are, what, four or five seconds away from getting a 1-0 defeat and taking it back to rugby park, just bemoaning the fact about a referee getting involved in a decision that he shouldn't have. Um, we, again, we've got to be honest and say that the detail wasn't quite right in the build-up to their, uh, to, to make Mayo can maybe put it for a throw-in. This isn't me criticising players because the players have been outstanding. Uh, and then, rather than giving away a corner, do we give away a throw-in? When the ball comes in, can we head up and out, even three, four seconds hang time, game's done. And then we're just a wee bit on our heels at the edge of the box. And at this level, um, the boy scores a second goal. Is it Falk? Is it Falk? Falk. Falk. Yeah. Scores. Is it quality? You know what I mean? That to punish you to the full extent. And uh, so the detail is so important. And I thought the detail for the team was outstanding throughout. Um, uh, just in the dying embers of the game, the last four or five seconds, uh, it could have been just a 1 0 defeat. Listen, but I still think the game's on. We're, we're strong at home, as we, as, as we know. Um, um, and obviously we've we've lost already this season. Um uh, to St Johnson down to ten men, but you know our record up prior to that has been so strong, eight or nine months only Rangers and Celtic have beaten us. So we hang on to everything. I'm 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 proud of the fact that we're actually our club Kilmarnock, we're taking on somebody like Copenhagen at this stage in a European competition. Um I think they They've managed to get a break tonight, and I think they've uh, they were searching for a bit of luck, and searching as good as they were, and moved us about. Uh, there was a lot about the game that I thought would play out exactly how it played out, um, but we still feel, uh, and, and hopefully the players, once we the, the dust settles, we get the next goal in the tie, and then hopefully it's uh, we can maybe get a real kind of raucous, uh, rousing rugby park crowd right behind us, and you know it's it's brilliant for us to see so many fans travel in and around the city, interacting with them, a uh, club our, cl our size, we're proud of the fact that we're here taking on, a, taking on a heavyweight in Copenhagen and I thought the result was really harsh on us, the recognition of the fans that, that gave the players at the end um, helps us all to be honest, you know it does help us um, and I thank the fans for that but we go again, we go again and hopefully as I say and, uh, next Thursday we can uh, set about that task. Just to go back to the penalty, did any of the officials give you an, an explanation no. for the decision? The fourth official thought it was for handball uh, 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 initially. Um, um, he thought the referee was being asked to look, uh, and I looked at it as he was watching it, and I didn't see it was a handball. Um, but so it was only when I came in afterwards um, that I've looked at it again. It's obviously he's gave it for. The challenge for me, David, which again, as I say, is extremely, extremely harsh. I spoke to the referee at the end. It was more on uh, the, the the penalty decision and the the time. You know, it's like, uh, but uh, such is life. We uh, we have to lick our wounds. I thought it was a few decisions that went were in the balance in the, in the game, and 
they seem to come out the other end of it all the time and you know it's like we've, we've got enough odds stacked against us without referees getting involved in it and when he did and then we just know we um we have a bit of pride about the performance um it'll take more than that next thursday um of course and we'll need to show more attacking threat my intention is to put a maybe a more attacking team to try and um, get the game going our way a wee bit and let them and try and hit them hard and try and give them the, the, the best version of us next Thursday um, because we don't want to go to Europe, we're, we're really enjoying this, supporters are enjoying it and I think I enjoyed a lot about the performance tonight um, other than the, 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 the dying embers of it.